Hello and welcome. My name is Glorious Badger. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. You won't miss a thing. Right, we are finally back to this. Obviously, I took a bit of a break between the previous video and this one. I do apologize. Uh, but this is the painting of the Weird Knob Shaman. This is the miniature that we're going to roughly end up with. But we have a few steps to go before we get there. First of all, we have both pieces to apply the Burnt Umber Oil Wash to. I'm using Windsor & Newton. You can use pretty much whatever you wish, whatever tone you're looking for. Uh, the only thing I neglected to do was make the wash on camera. I do apologize, but you'll be able to see roughly how thick the wash is right about now. As you can see, I am putting the wash to the miniature and it's not running all over the place. It's sort of, it's just pooling and staying pretty stagnant. So I used um, odorless thinners. I tried using regular thinners the first time around and made instant, instant regrets. Absolutely use odorless thinners. Even then, I would advise having a door or a window open to the outside whilst doing this. So what we're going to do is we are just getting a good coverage on over the entire miniature. Making sure the poncho or cloak or whatever this thing is, is well covered. Along with the tusks, the skin, all the skulls, all the bits and pieces. I have uh, painted this in two sub-assemblies. I will be getting the lower parts later once we've got a good coverage on this. And I will, I'm not in too much of a rush. In fact, I would like this to dry somewhat before I start considering removing it. Removing it. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'm, I'm quite happy just removing it very quickly. And then other, other times I'm quite happy about leaving it to dry. It's, uh, it's how I'm feeling on the day usually. So I'm going to reach for the lower legs. Here we go. We're going to get the skin well covered. The only part of this we will not be coating in oil is indeed that smoke you see up the top. That is going to stay fresh. I might accidentally get a tiny bit of oil on it, but that is not a disaster. But we're, we're not wanting full coverage at all on it. Just the skin. Um, the legs. The sort of skirt thing he's wearing. Make sure it's all well covered. As you can see, I'm still managing to paint off camera half the time. I do apologize. I should really uh, paint a target on the cutting mat behind me so that I know roughly where to be. Painting, because I still, after almost four years, I've still not managed to master this. Okay, so we're going to leave those to dry for a second. We're going to some Q-tips here, and I'm going to wiggle them around a bit like that. I'm going to dip them slightly into some odorless thinners like that. They're not going to be dripping. Just want to, I guess, damp would be uh, one description. And then we're just going to work sort of downwards, basically where the light would hit and then work down the body. So uh, leaving oil in the recesses and shadows. As much as one likes, really. Working on that flesh. You'll have, no you'll have noticed that I did not... Uh, varnish over the miniature before I put the oil wash on. I generally don't 
do that. Um, if I'm going to be putting transfers on, then I will put uh, some varnish on. Otherwise, I don't really tend to tend to varnish. I just don't apply huge amounts of pressure to the uh, using the Q-tip. I will eventually move from Q-tips to sort of foam uh, makeup applicators because the only issue with these little things is that it does leave little threads of cotton attached to the miniature, which can be a complete nuisance. Uh, I've I've usually find them when I'm taking photos of the miniature, and uh, kick myself every time. But I still yet to learn. Maybe maybe next time I will uh, fix that. Anyway, so I'm going to continue to remove basically as much of the oil wash as I want to. Uh, I'm going to remove it off this. I don't know what this thing is. Staff off these. Horn bits, bits of bone. You can really remove as much as you want to and kind of, however you envisage the miniature to be at the end, it's, um, it's entirely up to you, sort of stylistically, how much you remove. I will be going back and put, re putting uh, flesh back on. I'll be putting some highlights back into the skin, back into the cloth again, into the into all of the bits and pieces, but this video is just about the oil wash, and that is it. There we go, that's... what are we going to work on now? Well, that's a question for everyone, because we're going to do it off camera, apparently. Uh, we are, in fact, just <laughs> working on that staff again. And now a bit of that skirt. I don't know what it's called. Skirt thing. Some of those pouches it's got around and those sort of weird, I don't know, teeth things. Tidy up that skin as well. We can always add a bit more. Um, in fact, we are going to add some more thinners to the Q-tip. just to help remove some of this wash a bit more. Then we're going to get those bits of flesh. Get the shoulder. Yes, so... Mm, lovely jubbly. I will eventually be able to paint on camera for the entirety of the video. But not quite yet. I got to I got to build up to it. Can't spoil everyone straight away. There's lots and lots of this really. It's uh, pretty simple. It's very relaxing. Worst case scenario, you well, actually, the worst case scenario is, is you completely remove the paint underneath. That is the worst case scenario. That's only happened to me one time before. Um, I accidentally moved on to this stage probably a bit too quickly after putting the initial coat of paint down and removed a tiny bit of yellow paint from the backpack of one of my Imperial Fists. Not the biggest disaster, though. I just turned it into battle damage. That is that that is definitely a um maybe a reason to varnish, but I I'm just I don't really mind any any sort of paint I do thin down too much is usually on an upper surface which I'll end up highlighting anyway. Alright, so this q tip I'm have is also uh been dipped into some thinners. It is slightly damp. I think I'm going to, yeah, at this point, the wash has dried a bit too much, and I think we need to uh, add a bit more thinners onto the Q-tip to help progress things along. As you can see, the paint is not being removed. I am still dropping the miniature, though, so round of applause for me. Still 
still dropping miniatures. All right, so yeah, this is the sort of uh, upper surface of the poncho. I am going to be coming back in, putting more yellow back onto this to tidy things up a little bit, add a bit more brightness back to it. But for now, we're just going to keep removing a chunk of this uh, burnt umber oil wash from the surface of the miniature. Once I decide to get back to it, I don't know what I'm doing off camera right now. Something amazing. Absolutely amazing. There we go. Well done. Right. There we go. It's all, it's pretty easy, this. This was a very enjoyable miniature for me to paint as well. I do not have any more, though, unfortunately. But uh, I, I may very well paint another one at some point. Once I locate some time for myself. Okay, that's looking pretty good. There we go. Lovely jubbly. So these are going to have to dry. And uh, before we move on to the next stage. I have glued this together at this point. I did a quick cut. So here's glued together the... I think I'm just going to make sure I haven't missed any bits or I'm going to tidy up any bits that... Um, maybe I missed because it was done in the sub-assembly. I didn't think that it would, light would get to that point. So once it's together, I'm just going to double check that everywhere has light on it that should do, etc. Which is what I'm doing right now with the Q-tip. Unfortunately, it's slightly off camera, so I do apologize. Um, but there we go. That's pretty much it. The smoke is going to be dealt with later. Uh, that is almost entirely oil-free. I don't think I got any oil on it. If I did, I will, I'll be cleaning that up at some point. Uh, between now and then. I'm pretty happy with him as he is. You could potentially just leave him like this um, if you wanted. I certainly wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't say no to that, but I unfortunately I also like to overdo it, so I will be doing more stages. A bit more tidying up here. Giving myself some more bits of uh, cotton thread to go back and tidy up. Try and locate with a pair of tweezers later and remove. There we go. Get that bit of bone thing up there. Anywhere else to do under? That bit of the skirt, I think. Yeah, and uh, that dagger. Yeah, because a lot of that will be under the shadow anyway. Um, of that poncho, so I don't need to worry about it too much. Back of those those calves there need they need a bit of a tidy up as well. There we go. Anything else? I wonder. Probably didn't need to do that, truth be told, but uh, we did. Quite keen on making sure that calf's quite clean and that bit of skirt. We are going to get the, uh, we are going to punch some colour back into that area. Uh, in the next video, in fact. But not this one, this is just the uh, oil wash. It's only going to be a relatively short video. Truth be told, I could have fast forwarded through a bunch of this. Um, don't entirely know why I didn't, but here we go. It's only going to be about 15 or 16 minutes. And there we go. So that's looking pretty good. Oh. That's my Instagram. Instagram.com forward slash Glorious Badger. Do make sure to follow me there. And also, I also have a Patreon. Patreon.com <laughs> forward slash Glorious Badger. You can check that out as well. Links should be below. I am slowly starting to upload footage. Trying to get a bit more um, 
organized with the posting over there. But there we go. I'm very happy with this so far, but we are going to push it further in the next videos. There'll probably be two more videos. Um, highlights and potentially, I don't know, basing. The fight and smoke might be the final bit. I can figure out exactly what I want to do with the smoke. I have a general idea. I've got a general scheme, but it's um I don't paint smoke too often, so it's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a learning progress for me. Process, even. Not a progress. Anyway, like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And I will see you in the next one, hopefully. That next one will be quicker than three months. Unlike this one. Thank you, and goodbye.